This is the new Cook 135 Anamorphic Full Frame Plus. And this one right here is a new Cook 16mm Full Frame Plus. Cinema 5D at IBC 2019 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video and photo solutions. SERP, better films. Tilted, arm your camera. And Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Hi, I'm Nino from Cinema 5D. We're here at Cook at IBC 2019 and I'm talking with Les. How are you? I'm great. How are you? So the show started yesterday. Your booth is very busy. Why is it busy? What's new? Well, it's busy because we're Cook Optics and we, you know, people are thankfully always interested in what we have. Uh, we don't have a lot of new product this year. We're standing here with their new S7 16 millimeter, which is currently the widest lens in that series for full frame. And we also have introduced here the 135 anamorphic full frame lens that will be joining that, that family of lenses in the next month, month or so. So, uh, you know, we're, we're really trying to cover all the bases with either Super 35 and now full frame. We have more series of lenses than I think any other manufacturer. So we're trying to give the market the tools they need to do just about any job they can imagine. So there's really, I feel like a kind of momentum for Cook lenses in the market. You see it with a lot of productions uh, being used because I think there is currently a trend uh, to have lenses with a characteristic and you know like the other your competitors are you know sometimes known for having perfect lenses but maybe a little no, bit with perfect, less soul perfect is a um what's perfect to one person may not be perfect to the next person yeah however we take great pride in what in the industry is called the cook look yeah. it's a very um, warm look people look good, which is usually what you want people to do. It's very dimensional, it's not too harsh. It's a whole magic formula that's been consistent since the speed pancros were created in the 1920s. You know, with digital, it's a, it's a wonderful format, and, it, and it's not. It is very sterile and, and very, uh, not very interesting on its own. And, you know, we noticed when digital first arrived, people either sh they were shooting with Cook lenses because it made the stuff look good. In fact, almost all the test footage shot for the Aria Alexa was shot on wasn't shot on that other brand. Most of it was shot on Cook because it made it look really good. So, if somebody had never used one of your lenses, let's say, how would you describe? Where have they been living? Where have they been living? Yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's just somebody who's starting out, yeah. you know, like a lot of the people I, who are well, watching our platform. You know, I just had somebody come into the booth and he said, this is the first time I've seen a Cook lens and got yeah. to touch one. He, and it's something he said he aspires to use as he gets further into the industry. And so, that's, it's always great to hear. Yeah. So how would you describe, let's say, the look of your new 16 mil S7? It looks like it has the Cook look. <laughs> like if you're, I mean, the Cook look, I have to say, is consistent between us, between all of our lenses. It's, so you can mix them all as well. Uh, and people do. Yeah. You know, in the old days, people would be, it's a Super 35 film, they're only using S4s or Brand X. Now, it's not unusual that a movie shoots anamorphic, Super 35. It'll shoot with Brand X lenses for some scenes and Cook lenses for some scenes. I mean, it's just, people are just playing mix and match. Yeah. Interesting. What's the availability on the two new lenses? When when can people get their hands on them? The 135 full frame anamorphic will be shipping almost immediately, and the 16 should be shipping within the next month or so. And obviously, they're mostly rental items, I would say. But uh, where do they come in price wise? We, uh, you know, I don't know the pound pricing, but I know the S7s are in dollar terms in the low twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And uh, the full frame anamorphics are in the low 30s. All right. In dollar terms. Let's just briefly mention also you have a nice online platform with educational content That's where correct. very, very renowned cinematographers talk about their work experience and how they do things. So, I think you just described yeah, I it. I just right. described it, so, but you can you, you can much. you can elaborate. I can at least tell you where to find it. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, about five six years ago, we started Cook Optics TV. It's been really popular. It uh, is not a sales pitch for Cook, 
we talk to cinematographers that shoot with all, any kind of lens, we don't care. If they have an interesting story that will teach other cinematographers, or at least inform other cinematographers, it's cookoptics.tv. Awesome, we'll definitely check it out. Please, and then we and we just started a new site about a year ago called Shot, Shot on Cook, Dot com, which obviously is lens specific to cut to cook, and it's by invitation. But we we encourage people that have uh, work they're really proud of that shot on cook, to, you know, to submit it, and uh, we'll take a look and hopefully get it up on shot on cook. Great. We'll definitely put the links to that in our post Great. that goes with this video. Thank you, Les. Thank you. And yeah, have a good show. Thank you. And thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned to Cinema 5D for a lot more from IBC 2019. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet.